Hey, good afternoon everybody. It's Wednesday. It is half off day at Salvation Armies. We're at our first one already and I want to show you how crazy it gets inside of these Salvation Armies on Wednesday. So let me let you guys take a look at the line right now. It's about noon. That is currently the line to check out. The way up there is the checkout. And then those are all those people all the way are in line. So pretty crazy. All right, guys, so how crazy is that Salvation Army? That is the one located in Brandon, Florida. That's uh, closest to where I live. Um, I just spent $30 in there. The bill was $61, um, so with half off, it was $30.50. Um, I'll do a haul. I'll let you guys know what I got when I get home. I got a nice uh, three-button uh, suit jacket. Uh, the comps on it were between $50 and $75. I paid $4 for it. Um, I got a Lane Bryant plus-size shirt for a woman. $2.50 looked like you know a lot of comparables close ones were 15 to 20 uh, got a Donald Trump uh, dress shirt for fitted dress shirt for uh, $2.50 uh, not sure the comps on that exact style but probably between 20 and 30 I would think I don't know how hot their shirt his shirts are right now I haven't sold one of his shirts in uh, several months um, I know during the election uh, time though I think in October I sold a Donald Trump shirt a white one for like $19.99 so uh, before he won so it might be worth more than that he won I got a vintage Scooby-Doo necktie for a dollar fifty which more than I usually spend but their neckties are usually three or four dollars in that Salvation Army so at half off it's like a buck fifty um, but I think I'll get ten out of it uh, I've been getting ten dollars for a lot of ties lately nine bucks nine fifty nine ninety nine so bought that and then got a few other a couple polos a couple t-shirts so i'll show you guys in the hall what i got uh we're gonna head over to the second uh salvation army shouldn't be as crazy but this is the big one so it will be busy compared to what most of you are used to but for this particular store being so large um you know at this time of day about one o'clock 1 15 it, it shouldn't be too bad but we'll see and while I'm driving to the second Salvation Army, I just want to give you guys a little update. Uh, I don't want to go into too much detail, but you guys know I had a little bit of an issue with the uh, with the car. Um, it was pretty much the craziest thing that could have happened. I won't go into it too far. I know a few of you know, but um, basically near act of God with something on the car. It was kind of outside. The car's under the original manufacturer warranty, of course. Um, you know, the car is, is a 2016. It's, it's pretty new. Um, it barely has, uh, you know, that many miles on it, so it's covered until 50,000 miles, but this particular um, issue that it had and the way that things happened and went down, it, it was kind of outside of the scope. It was just an absolutely bonkers situation. Um, obviously, on this car, anything is expensive, so it was very, very expensive. I won't discuss how much it was, but BMW has stepped up after a week and a half of negotiating and back and forth. Uh, BMW has finally stepped up and uh, they're going to take care of 85% of it. Um, I'm going to have to spend 15% of it, which is still a little bit of money, but um, much better than 100% that they were uh, originally hoping for me to have to cover. Uh, it was not covered by my insurance. Um, Geico has a very weird policy that they don't cover uh, mechanical defects or problems if they're outside of the warranty, um, only if the vehicle was leased or if the vehicle was still brand new, which of course my car is used, I've had it over a year. Um, so there was really no way of getting the issue covered, but uh, BMW, like I said, they stepped up, they paid for all the parts um, and some of the work. Uh, I'm spending some money on some labor, but nothing you know, horrible, catastrophic. Uh, it's gonna cost me a little bit though, it's not cheap, but um, that's the, uh, the ups and downs of having you know, a car that's uh, of that caliber and, and that expensive to have something done. I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. I'm not asking for any sympathy. I knew what I was getting into when I got the car. But I did just want to make a comment that BMW has done the right thing for the most part and, uh, and took care of me, not just because it was the right thing to do, but because I really have been a loyal customer to BMW. Um, I've had five BMWs. Um, I believe I've had BMW for the last eight years, I think. And um, I've not only bought my cars from BMW so they got to make a profit on selling me the car they also I finance my cars directly through BMW's financial program I don't use banks I don't use Bank of America or SunTrust or any of that and the reason is BMW gave me a really good you know they always give me good interest rates but also they you know up until now they've given me amazing customer service which they're continuing to do so um, and BMW financial is separate from BMW sales and service so they've always been good to me and uh, so 
you know, they realized what kind of customer I was and, and how I've been loyal to them. So they're taking care of it. Uh, appreciate that BMW. Thank you uh, for what you've done. Um, I wish you took care of all of it. It would have saved me some money, but I understand, uh, you know, it wasn't anybody's fault. It wasn't their fault. It wasn't my fault. Not that we can prove one way or the other. So, you know, with that being said, got to do what we got to do. But uh, that was for anybody that was asking. I'll have the car back. It is going to take a little while because the parts for an i8 are not stored in America. They're not at the South Carolina factory and they're not locally at a dealership. They have to be specially ordered from Germany. Um, and in most cases they have to be uh, produced, which means built. And uh, so they're probably gonna have to build the parts, um, get them shipped over here. It's gonna take a couple of weeks to get the parts. So um, until then, I'll be driving this fancy loaner car and then uh, I'll have the car back in due time and uh, you guys will get more driving in that car once it gets back. I don't know the date, hopefully under 30 days, but we'll see. Anyways, thanks for asking for everybody that did ask and was concerned about it. Um, that's the update on the car um, and uh, we'll move on from that. Onward to second Salvation Army. Gotta go make some money to pay for it. <laughs> Alright guys, back in the second Salvation Army. This is the big, big one. You guys can probably see just how big this one is. Women's, men's, furniture, household goods. So really big store. Excuse me, sir. I already picked up a few items. It's a cool Star Wars shirt. Star Wars shirt number two. Star Wars pants. A few more items. And uh, when I'm done in here, I'll uh, I'll do a combined haul for you guys. Check out everything that we got today. All right, guys. We spent thirty dollars inside of that store. It was half off, so fifteen, which was half of the other store. So two, two uh, Salvation Armies, ninety dollars, half off for forty-five total cost. Um, when I was coming into this one, I actually saw another thrift store that I had never seen before and I drive past her all the time. So keep your eyes open guys. You never know what you'll see or what you'll find while you're driving along the roads, even if you're used to driving along them, which is another reason why you should see my video on planning a route and Googling shops. This might be a new shop, so I'm not sure, but um, we'll check it out. It's a church thrift store, so it's good size. So pretty good hopes that they'll have some good stuff. Let's go inside and check it out. All right guys, it's super bright out, but um, this is a thrift store that I didn't see before. St. Vincent de Paul, thrift store here in Tampa. It's right across the street from a pawn shop that I've been to a hundred times. So I don't know how I didn't notice this, but here it is. Okay, so took a walk around that thrift store and it took me all of about two minutes to figure out that it wasn't gonna work. I mean, t-shirts for $6.99, polos for um, like $10, neckties for five, uh, if you get into a store like that and it's just way overpriced, just cut your time, cut your loss, and get out of there. Don't spend any more time in that kind of place than you have to because even if you found a deal or two, it's, it's just not worth the time. So good thing I checked it, but not any good on the, uh, the merchandise side, the pricing side, and there wasn't very good stuff in there anyway. So on our way out and we'll continue our day. All right, guys, what's up? It's back home. It's time to go through the... Uh, haul from the Salvation Army today. Two stores. Not a ton of stuff, but some real good quality and some crazy stuff. And I know a few of you asked about the lighting. Check it out, guys. That's how big and bright this thing is. Hard to see. I won't blind you forever, but man, that's just one of them. They're combined 700 watt, 350s. The link is down below. Best $75 you'll spend. Uh, I've got it. I left it kind of at a weird angle. It's not how it normally lights, but um, just so I could reach it and show you guys. But let me show you what we got today at these two Salvation Armies. Again, one of these superhero shirts that I sell a lot of. And these good graphic superhero shirts really do sell really, really quickly. I sold the other one already. I think we got 14 for it. So there it is. This is a big size. This is a 2X. Yeah, 2X. Paid a dollar. One dollar. It was two bucks on sale, 50% off, of course. One I kind of took a stab at. Again, these are my bread and butter shirts, but uh, this is Columbia. You guys know the brand, for those of you that don't. 
Very popular fishing outdoor shirt. Uh, it's got a lot of fish on it. You know, if you could pick these up for two bucks, by all means do it. You can typically get 15 out of them, which is, you know, 13 profit before fees and shipping, eight after fees and shipping if you do free shipping. If you add two bucks, then you're good. Um, but that's the cost on that. It was four on sale for uh, two, or it was, I'm sorry, it was five. It was on sale for 250. All right, this is a $2 shirt picked up for a dollar. I sell a lot of Star Wars stuff. Pretty much all the t-shirts at my Salvation Army are two bucks. And you'll almost always make at least five or six dollars on your dollar purchase. You get these half off for a buck and you can usually sell them for 10 to 12, which will put about seven or eight in your pocket. And um, you know, five to six dollar profit minimum. Same thing, two dollars, buy it for a dollar. This one's really good, clean graphics. Love it, Star Wars. Force Awakens should be no problem to sell this for twelve to fourteen dollars. Um, these were five, so I got them for two fifty. <laughs> some more Star Wars. These are some really soft, comfortable, extra large. Um, they're polyester, but they're super soft, and they are Stormtroopers and Bubba Fett men's sleep pants. Again, a fourteen fifteen dollar item. Paid two fifty for those. Uh, we'll stick with this outdoor shirt type theme here. This one was Timberland, which is not Timberland, which is not um, too popular anymore, but this one was vented. You guys look for these vented shirts right here. They sell really good. Usually almost a guaranteed 15 if it's a brand and vented. You can also see them on the back. They've got the flap with the vents. So I should be able to get 20 out of this one, but at least 15. And I think, yep, this one was two bucks as well. It was four. Half off, two bucks. So again, you know, you're gonna make five to ten dollars per item profit, just depending, but hopefully it all adds up. Now this shirt was a little more expensive. It was $6.99, seven, so we got it for $3.50. But very cool. It's a brand that I'm familiar with. I have sold before and some good graphics. It's Roper. This is like a western themed horse shirt. It's men's. Uh, this size is men's large. So this is a shirt that some comparables sold for around 20. I did pay 350 for it, but I think I can easily get that 1999 price. I'll probably put it up for 25 or 29 with best offer. If it sells great, if I get an offer of 20, I'll take it. Another one that I paid 350 for, which was seven. Um, I don't buy a ton of these. I don't like the brand too much. It's Caribbean Joe. We see a lot of this down here in Florida. But this particular shirt is one with graphics that will sell. This is Cuban graphics. It says Havana, uh, Cuban cigars, and it's a great Caribbean style, you know, Cuban, um, Hawaiian button down men's shirt. I believe it's an extra large as well. It's a 2X, so even better. Um, short sleeve, cool weather, of course. And Cuba is very popular right now. Cuban stuff is pretty hot. So this shirt I'm going to try to get 20 out of. All right, let's keep rolling along. Picked up a nurse scrub today. This was four. So I paid two bucks for it. And it is good old Eeyore. And it says, I'm always chasing rainbows. These nurse and vet tech scrubs, bread and butter. Again, five, six dollar profit after fees and shipping, but it takes just a minute to list them. Picked up a couple ties today. I paid two bucks a piece on the ties. 250 a piece, they're five bucks. So this is a golf and sports tie. It's all right, not too bad. But this was the one that I love. Check out, check it out. Scooby-Doo, 250 tie. Try to get 15 out of the Scooby tie. The Scooby tie is clutch, I love it. I almost want to keep it. All right, this is a $5 shirt that I picked up for 250, a brand that I have sold before. You guys are probably familiar with it. Uh, this is a fitted short. It's Giorgio Brutini. I'll show you guys the tag. There it is. Just a plain dress shirt, but it's got, they always come, almost always come with these already in. These are awesome cufflinks. They always match the shirts. They're almost, uh, almost always included with these shirts. But this Giorgio Brutini, Brutini uh, dress shirt, you know, I paid I paid 250 for it, but this is probably something that I should get 25 to 30 for. So this is one of the, the better profits, you know, $20 profit, hopefully. 
Um, a dollar, another one of my dollar shirts, just a Guy Harvey, but it's got a cool gator on the back of it. Guy Harvey. Paid a buck for it, it's long sleeve, so, you know, another 10 bucks to $12 sale, $7 profit. <laughs> I'll leave this one alone, but, uh, you know, why not? For a buck, why not take a shot at it? Somebody will like it. No comment needed. Uh, let's keep rolling along here. What else we got? Um, tag was good on this. It was a dollar. Couldn't really leave it for a dollar. Brand you guys are probably familiar with, Lacoste. Nothing wrong with it. Um, I don't know. I sell Lacoste pretty well. 12 bucks, 14 bucks. We'll see. This one doesn't have a brand that I, uh, I know too well. It's called Club Shirt by... S oh, it's Stephen Berry's. I paid two fifty dollars for it. But again, sometimes I don't buy based on brand. I buy based on content. And these Oriental and Dragon Silk shirts sell really, really well. I almost always get 15 out of them. So I was good with that. Let's keep rolling. Um, one I seen on some people's Instagram that was selling well. Five, I paid two fifty. It's Lane Bryant, but this is a plus size shirt. And I believe this is a size 16, 14, 16. Lane Bryant seems to be pretty popular right now. It looked like a lot of the plus size 14, 16 shirts from Lane Bryant were fetching 15 to 20. So I figured 250 was a good try at it. Um, I don't sell a ton of plus size or women's, but Lane Bryant was selling really good. When I looked up completed versus solds versus not solds, uh, it was really good. It was like 80%. So happy with that one. This one I spent some time researching. It was eight bucks. I got it for four. And the brand is Italian and it's in the pocket here. I'm gonna show you guys. It's V-I-N-C-I. -I. I was trying to find the tag. Give me a second. It is a sport, or it is a uh, suit jacket. And it's just a suit jacket, which is fine. And uh, it's a three button. As soon as I find that tag again, I'll show you guys. Just your basic suit jacket. It's Italian, of course. Three buttons, obviously, for the obvious reasons. If you don't know three button versus double breasted versus two button, please look them up. Um, oh, here's the tag right here. Original Italian. Is this, somebody might know. I think it's, I think it's Vinci. Is that the name of the brand or is it Vinci? Let's zoom up. Most of them were in the $50 range, some of them upwards of 80 to 100. I did see one that sold for 30. I think this one's nicer and I think this one's a 50 to 60. Paid four, $4 for something I'm gonna sell for 50. I'll take it. And they were selling pretty good. And then we saved the best for last. Not necessarily the best, but at least what I think was the best fun pickup for the day. I don't have to explain this one to you guys. Pretty sure everybody gets it. Again, Disclaimer, I'm not supporting or hating on anybody political. We don't discuss that here. But if it sells, it sells. And that, ladies and gentlemen, right there, that guy right now sells. So there's the price, five bucks. I bought it for 250. It is one of his cufflink dress shirts. It will not fit me, but it's gonna sell for really good money, I hope. I don't know the dress shirt market on Trump right now. I bought it just because I knew that it would sell. Last one I sold was before Christmas, probably in November. I probably sold it for like 20, 22 bucks. I think it was plain white. That color is kind of an off color teal. Have to find the right buyer, but probably 24, 25. 250, good purchase. So overall, I think I spent about 45, $50. There's definitely a few hundred bucks here, three, $400. Probably maybe five gross net, maybe like 250. I don't know, 300. We'll see what happens, but for $50, not a bad day. Again, this is my every day. Go out and spend 50 bucks, 60 bucks, and try to make two or 300 bucks off of it. That's the plan, and uh, can't beat Scooby. Who doesn't love Scooby-Doo? Scooby is, uh, Scooby's the man. With that being said, guys, I'll leave you to your evening. I'll let you check out some more YouTube videos if you want. I'll let you get some listing done, make some money, and uh, we'll, we'll get back together. Tomorrow night is Thursday, it's a live show. Um, 9 p.m. Eastern time. If you've never joined me on a live show, please do. If you do join me on live shows, thank you for always being there and I'll see you tomorrow at 9 p.m. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, like this video if you did. Make sure you're subscribed with the notifications turned on so you'll get a notification tomorrow night when I go live. And uh, if you're interested in those beautiful lighting kits, they're down below directly 
through the link to Amazon, my affiliate. I will get a couple bucks out of it, so I appreciate if you decide to buy them to use that link. And um, they're awesome, they're 700 watts. Soft box instead of umbrellas, I like them better. And uh, best 75 uh, bucks you'll spend. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time with another haul and another video. And remember, tomorrow night is live.